What is going on, X community? Exo Stomp here. And today, people, we are going to be playing our week five match versus the Lake City Luxrays. So, um, this, uh, if you guys sort of notice what kind of team it is, this is a team that was taken over by a new coach. Um, Denistrio decided to drop. Um, I'm not going to go into it, but he decided to drop. So, uh, we got a replacement coach. So, we did a few changes. Um, the team the team definitely looks uh, a little bit, like, basically the same. Um, stuff like Zoroark and Klefki and, and Donphan are still here. And Linoon. Those were, like, those are, like, the staples of the team, in my opinion. And um, they're still here, so... Of course, uh, we're going to have to definitely prep around that, but... Uh, looking at the team uh, versus my team, I do have some nice speed with uh, Subtile. I have, um, I definitely have a, I feel like I have the the advantage for team matchup, but that doesn't mean that I'm going to do as well as I hope. So <laughs> let's uh, let's just go over my team that I'm bringing real quick. So <clears throat> we're bringing Life Orb Magmortar with 220 speed. Uh, the speed is for <clears throat> the speed is to outspeed, I believe. Um, was it like max speed hit one chan or something, something weird like that? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. So something like that. Um, Fire blast. Uh, I was gonna put overheat on it instead for like the Don fan maybe. Um, I might need to calc that right before the match, and I might change something, but. Yeah, we have Fire Blast, we have Scorching Sands for the um, Lantern that may want to come in. Um, depending on the set that the Lantern is, it can two-shot. Um, it's really up in the air, though, if it does. If it doesn't, and we do get the burn, great. If we if it doesn't, and we still don't get the burn, um, that's still okay. It's not the worst thing in the world. We do have, um, we do have some switch-ins to it, but uh, we're running... Psychic. Psychic is for the Hitmonchan, uh, as well as the... Well, I think just the Hitmonchan. That might be another move that we might just change. Uh, Fire Blast is like 6% less, so... We may change that. I don't know. Uh, and then Flame Charge. In case uh, we do need this to sweep at the end of the match, we can just Flame Charge once and get that plus 1 speed and then be able to outspeed everything, which is great. Um... The next mom we have here is Sableye. Sableye with leftovers. Um, it's going to be max defense, max HP. This is able to uh, tank the Linoon. And tanking the Linoon means that we are able to uh, basically just shut down late game sweeps. We have Will O Wisp, of course, uh, in case it gets to plus six. Um, recover, we have Disable, because I do know that it does have Play Rough, so if it goes for a Play Rough, um, after I Will-O-Wisp it, um, it won't kill, but it will do a lot. So if I'm able to disable the, uh, Play Rough, um, because they will need to go for Play Rough, uh, fearing the Recover, because if I go for Recover on anything else, you know, it won't kill, so, um, if I go for Recover, that'll be great. Um, I also have recover for the uh, for a lot of the offensive mods like Don Fan and stuff, um, and then we have foul play. Foul play is for like the plus six line noon. If we do, if it does happen to I don't know get up a sub or or whatever, if it, if it wants to do something, um, Sable Eye will be able to take it on and then do well versus it. Then we have Weezing. The Weezing is here. It's max max HP max bedef. This is for the Zor work. <clears throat> um, it's able to thank the Zoroark. If it have extra sensory, you know, it, it could be annoying. It won't kill, even at plus two, but um, with Strange Steam, it will be able to do a lot of damage to it, um, which is really good. And uh, we have Defog, of course, because Defog versus the Klefki. Klefki could be really annoying. Um, Rune Regis, uh, they do have, like, a decent amount of hazards, so it could be annoying, um, especially the Sticky Web, so it's definitely good to have. Uh, we have Clear Smog. Uh, for the line noon um, That is really in case they want to try to set up on Weezing because technically we uh, line noon can set up on Weezing like a, Of course a defensive Weezing um, So clear smog is really nice to have and then toxic uh, I'm gonna switch toxic because I have misty surge and that doesn't really make sense to have toxic 
I just noticed that. So yeah, we have Misty Surge because if we get up a Misty Surge with Terrain Extender, um, well, let's go into our next Pokemon. We go into Sceptile with the Misty Seed. Misty Seed this time because um, Prankster Defog from Klefki is really annoying. And Raichu doesn't do too much this game. Uh, Sucker Punch, Zoroark could be annoying. Uh, Linoon with Extreme Speed is very annoying. A lot, There's a lot of priority on this match, so it could be extremely annoying. So that's why we are not going with um, Raichu this match. We're going with Sceptile. So Sceptile with Max max HP, Max Attack is really good. We don't need any speed with that uh, pop of the seed, right? So um, I count that even even a scarf Galvantula doesn't outspeed Sceptile, which is great. So um, we have the Swords Dance, Leaf Blade, Earthquake, and Acrobatic set that we usually run. Um, this set basically stops every single Mon. Uh, the only annoying part is Runarigus if that does happen to come, which it probably will because again Raichu is a little annoying. Um, but yeah, if that does happen to come, it will get rid of the Unburden ability when I do hit it. So that could be a little annoying. Um, we would have to make sure that I think if I think it's only contact moves, so I have to make sure like Earthquake kills it plus two maybe. But uh, we'll see how we deal with that during the game. Hopefully it doesn't come, but we'll see. Um, then we have so the reason we have Misty Seed is because of course we're not running Pink Kirchen, and we're running Misty Terrain because of the Prankster. Thunder Wave that could be extremely annoying, um, as well as something like a uh, a Will O Wisp, uh, Runerigus, or T Wave Lantern, anything like that that could maybe um, happen. Misty Surge will stop it, which is really good. So any kind of uh, 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 wow, can't talk. Also, Effect Spore from Via Plume is super uh, super annoying from the acrobatics from subtile so if misty terrain is up it will not happen anyways we have glygar here um this is a weird kind of weird layout here with uh, max hp 156 h uh defense and then 100 spadef this makes sure that um what was it i was trying let me see oh yeah uh, ice shard from don fan does not two hit ko which is good uh we have immunity as well as uh, you know, we're a ground type, so we're not affected by two out of the three status moves that are super annoying. Um, so that's nice for a flying type. Uh, we have Roost, we have Earthquake, we have Stealth Rocks, and we have U-Turn. Uh, this is really standard. And then we have Scarf Tyrantrum with Rock Head, of course, because we have the Head Smash. Um, we do Psychic Fangs for the Hitmonchan, we have Head Smash for a lot of things and I mean we, we basically just have four moves that hit really hard versus their team so yeah that's the team um, this was a little bit longer than I hoped but yeah let's get on to the match shall we all right we are back so oh boy um so a few mods that I was hoping wouldn't come would be the Altaria uh, and of course the Rune Regis and they did happen to come which is sad um, if you guys see on the screen what they have um i thought klefki would come i thought zoroark would come i thought galvanish would come i was pretty sure vile plume would come because of raichu and pink Kirchen and all that jazz so four out of six isn't that bad um no lantern which means i just click fire move i think with uh with hopeless over here also i did change psychic with overheat which now i I regret seeing the Altaria, but that's okay. Um, and I also changed uh, Toxic with Paint Split here. So. Alright. Anyways, let's get on to the match. So, um, why is Weezing so far to the... That's so weird. He's like blocking Gligar. <laughs> you see that? That's so weird. Alright, anyways. Um, so looking at here, I mean, I feel like Magmortar just clicks overheat turn one and roast something. Uh, man, if only I had hidden power ice or something, or if it had ice beam. Oh my god, imagine Magmortar with ice beam. Thing would sweep right here. Um, yeah, I like overheat. Uh, 
I also just like starting off with wheezing as it sort of stops any kind of shenanigans from happening. Uh, I do have defog on my Misty Surge Mon, which is sort of weird, but it's alright. Um. Hmm. So, let's see. Tyrantrum also just... Uh, Tyrantrum gets walled by Runeragus, and that might start off here. I feel like Klefki might just start off. If Klefki starts off, I just go into Magmortar. If Klefki starts off, I can go into uh, Weezing right away and sort of stop anything anything from really happening. I could also go into Sableye technically, because he wouldn't go for a fairy move. He'd probably try to... Uh, I sort of like Weezing into that better. Gligar is also nice to start off, because Gligar stops... Um, there's no Ice Beam on, so it sort of just stops everything, right? Um, I sort of like Gligar here. Keep looking at it. Let's go in the Gligar. Uh, yeah, let's go in Gligar. Just in case Zoroark does happen to start off. I do like Gligar here. Uh, Altari does happen to start off, so it's good we didn't really start off with Mac Mortar. And now we can go into... Uh, we can use Rocks here, I think. Pretty free rocks. They're super nice in this matchup. Doesn't Altaria have Ice Beam? Just, uh, let me move this over here, by the way, so you guys can see this. I don't know if Altaria has Ice Beam. I'm actually gonna check that right now. I don't think it kills. That wouldn't make sense. It's, it's an Altaria, but actually, nah, it doesn't have Ice Beam. Yeah, all right. So that that's definitely Zora work. Usually, when you see something like a defensive Pokemon like that start off, it's usually not the actual one. <laughs> so that's okay. Uh, we do set up rocks here. Um, was it gonna set up screens? What else could it do? I really don't know what else it could do here. Um, Klefki. Let's see. What else could it do? I mean, not much. Can't. I mean, it can't talk, so it can't T-Wave. So it stops those. Uh, it could spike, but that doesn't make sense. I think he's just going to reflect or iron defense, quite honestly. I think can't even clear smog i should have put haze on this thing god damn it all right that's that's all right that's all right uh we'll go we'll go and we'll just earthquake right now yeah reflect that's okay i don't mind weakening it a little bit because now um what can happen is it's probably gonna switch right so we're gonna use her and i uh, probably gotta set reflect too i'm just gonna earthquake again Weakening the cleft key is a little bit better. Goes right. Okay. I didn't expect that, but um, this is either. Yeah, that's 100% an Altaria, which is a little weird. Probably just going to Dragon Dance, right? So I'm just going to U-turn here. It's a little weird. And it is slower. Which means it might just be defensive, so I'm not sure exactly what this thing's gonna do. Um, how much does Tyrantrum do to Altaria? Oh my god, okay, under reflect. Under a uh, reflect. Well, <laughs> if it's not max defense. It still kills with Head Smash at this this point. Um, although, I mean, Weezing is just sort of free. Um, I could also just go into Sableye here and go for a Will-O-Wisp. Because Lightning isn't here, so I would... Okay, goes for a Roost. That's alright. Um, I sort of like just going for a Will-O-Wisp here. Because... It does... Okay, so we hit the Vile Plume. That's okay. 
Burning the Vile Plume's alright because um, it does it does like uh, give some residual damage. It doesn't look like it might be a Rocky Helmet or something because it didn't get lefties recovery or black slide recovery so it may just be a uh, rocky helmet or something i'm not sure kind of weird uh does this does it have sleep powder i never know with vile plume does have sleep powder do i think he's gonna go for sleep powder probably not but i think wheezing is just free here because it does stop the it does stop any kind of that any kind of that stuff from happening. So let's go into wheezing here. Yep. And since it's burned, it's losing some health. Um Yeah, three more turns of reflect, which is okay. He can't sleep powder us. I sort of feel like just Strange steam spamming. Um, Klefki could just come back out. Uh, that's the thing. Klefki can come right back out right here. So if Klefki comes back out, I sort of just want to go into Mag Mortar here. Let's go into Mag Mortar. Yep. Klefki does happen to come back out. Uh, this is the Klefki. Because the Zorik doesn't have any damage on it yet. So uh, what we can do is I think just press overheat here freely and get a ton of damage off on something. Renegus does happen to come out. You get 66% on that rune, which is huge. That means that it's probably Spadef, if I had to guess. Damn, that did a lot. You said, damn, that did a lot. Uh, all right. Renegus, let's just do special just to see how much damage it would do. Um, also, I didn't fix this, but that's okay. Overheat. Yeah, so it's probably something like something like this. Where is it? Uh, like so like 64 to 75. I did 66. So yeah, that seems about right. Probably max spadef. So if I'm at minus 2, uh, it should still do 32, 32 to 38 if I hit. Um, do I want to risk it, though? I mean, if I kill this thing, Septile just wins uh, once Klefki's gone, right? So... Hmm. I do need to go for that, because Fire Blast is 27 to 32, which... Uh, well, it's not really a roll. It's 20... Uh, it's still a roll. It's still a roll. And it's... It surprisingly overheat hits more than Fire Blast, so... I could risk the 10% chance, I guess. Yeah, let's go for it. Yep, as we hit, perfect. And now with Runerigus out of the way, we don't need to worry too much. Whoops. Get that out of the way. Sorry, guys. Just wanted to get that plus one out of the way. Because people, uh, people do ping me. No, it's, it's just live battle. <laughs> it's just live battle. Alright. So yeah, with Rune out of the way, we can now pretty freely um, set up with Sceptile. Yes, I mean, Klefki can come back out. I think it's just Reflect. I don't think it has Light Screen. That did a lot of damage, though. Alright, Altaria comes out. Good play. Um, I do I do like that we do have Overheat, though, because I feel like I would have missed Fire Blast at least one of those times. So... Um, I mean, it may, it may just uh, roost. I feel like Tyrantrum's free. Uh, it could Draco. How much would Draco do to a, like a defensive, or not defensive, a, my Tyrantrum at least. Holy crap, that still kills. Okay, let's... Has a roll to kill. Um, I sort of like Gligar still. Do I? Because I could just U-turn out into something. Um, I also like... I could still Little Wisp this because it's not on the ground. Which is kind of nice. 
Um, Weezing is also pretty free. So the reason, so the reason why I might just go into Tyrantrum is because without Runerigus, I just click Head Smash here, and I do tons of damage to something, right? Um, Draco Meteor could be annoying, but Weezing's here. I'm just gonna go into Tyrantrum. I don't think Draco Meteor is coming out. Yeah, Hurricane hits. And we don't get confused, which is perfect. So now we can just go with a head smash here. I'm in. <laughs> Solo said, I'm in as soon as he j <laughs> That's funny. Um, he's in. He's in, boys. Go me. All right. Anyways. Uh, so yeah, head smash could happen. Clef key could be annoying, but I'm just pressing head smash here. I am clicking head smash and something wants to take like 30%. And by 30% and what? I mean clef key. Nope. Stays in. That didn't do enough, but that also didn't do enough. I mean, at this point, I could just win with Ho um, Hopeless or Magmortar as well. So I could just go for it again. Yeah, without Altaria, I'm pretty sure Magmortar just wins as well. Um, Klefki should come back out. Honestly. That's... Um, well, how much is my opponent? No, Klefki should come out. Press Reflect. <clears throat> Vio, nope, that is... Zorwark. He doesn't... No, no. I think he still outspeeds. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I tried to calc it, and Zorwark still outspeeds Tyrantrum. Sadly. Um, that's okay, though. Uh, we can just go into... We can go into Weezing. The, the annoying part is, though... Uh, no, it's not gonna do enough. I'm gonna go into Weezing here. Okay. And now what I could do here is... I don't have a Z move, that's fine. Um... Because his name is Bloom Doom. I got it. Um... I can just press Strange Steam. He's probably just gonna U-turn out here. But I don't mind strange steaming. Actually, he's probably gonna go in the clef. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna make sure he doesn't go in the clef key. Actually, uh, can I? Not really. I'm just gonna press strange steam here. Yeah, clef key comes out. Let's do 18 percent and confuse, which is really nice. Um, it could have flash cannon or does it have iron head? Yes, yeah, Vile Plume and Clef Key are like. I don't really use them any, much off. Okay, no. It doesn't have Iron Head. It doesn't have a physical steel move, which means I'm pretty free. Uh, Flash Cannon shouldn't be doing off. So I'm gonna go for a Strange Steam here. Again. And if he hits himself again, maybe we might be doing enough. Let's, let's go for it. Yeah, let's go for it again. Flash cannon, yep, doesn't be doing enough. And uh, now here we're gonna switch. We're gonna go into Gligar. To get the spadef drop, that's okay. Uh, I just want a U-turn here. Yep, we do kill, which is perfect. That sucks. That was a long confusion. Um, uh, hmm. They're just talking about, uh, what's it called? The, uh, signature move. Right. It's kind of bad, because you do have that chance to miss, so. It's only five more power as well. And honestly, it's it's better to hit at that point than to get the power. Anyways, uh, what are we doing? So, I don't want Zoroark to come out, so I sort of want to go into Sableye here. 
Because, like, what can it do to Sableye? I don't even think it could do much to Sableye. It is my defensive wall, so I don't really need it anymore. I can still 6 out, which is nice, but... I don't know if I'll be able to, because Tyrantrum is not looking too healthy here. If I go into Meg Mortar, that forces out sort of work. I don't really want that, so I sort of just want to go into Weezing here. Let's go into Weezing. Get that Misty Surge up, and now at this point, Sceptile should just be able to get a plus two and uh, win from there. And they shouldn't be able to paralyze me either. Actually, do I even need plus two? Because with Viaplume at 88%, uh, how much does Septile do to Vileplume? I don't know if it's physically defensive, but no item. Yeesh. Okay, that does not even do enough at this point. That... Wait. Shit, I don't know if this is... <laughs> I don't even know if... No. Oh, the thing is, I don't even need it anymore. I'm just gonna go for Pain Split here. Yeah. And then I go for Strange Team. Gligar now. I think we freely just go for a roost here. Go for an earthquake. I just go in the mag mortar now, don't I? <laughs> yeah, mag mortar just presses. Uh, I think I could just keep pressing earthquake. Like I don't even care. Uh, actually, he's gonna go for Giga Drain here on my. All right, what we're gonna do is I just rock him. Yep. Fire Blast, we hit. Sadly, he does outspeed. Uh, I mean... Do I really want a 6-0? I don't think I get a 6-0. Cause well does if he has energy ball, I don't live, but that's okay. Yeah, okay. So we just go with that. We just roost twice. Yeah, it doesn't look like he has energy ball. Then we just spam earthquake here and we should win. One more time. GG's. Oh, 
Well, we didn't really do what we wanted to do with set dial, but um, yeah, we got a, a nice, a nice game. Uh, GG's to you, Tiger. Uh, I might, you know what? Oh, because he did ask uh, if he wanted to chat afterwards. So um, I'll ask if he wants to chat. Uh, usually when I get 6.30, I usually don't want to chat. So um, either the, the video is going to end in like a few, like a minute or, or like five or ten minutes. So if you guys see that, you'll notice. Um, you'll notice. So, but yeah, uh, GG's again, Tiger. Uh, if I don't talk to you right after this. Um, and yeah, I think, I think you played well. Um, it was a little weird not to see heavy duty boots on the Altaria. Uh, Charty Barry was interesting, but, um, you needed to be a little bit more offensive to kill a Tyrantrum, which, which does suck. Um, you know, it, and you did get unlucky with the confusion hacks, but, um, nevertheless, it still was a, it was a good game. Well played. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Unless I interview him. So yeah, peace. Alright, what's going on guys? We are back. So Tiger wanted to do an interview. So uh, yeah, we are here. Um, so yeah, we, we were just talking about um, off stream. Or not off stream, but off, uh, <laughs> off cam. Yeah, about uh, your sets. And so you, you were talking about Altaria. So um, yeah, you said that it should have killed Tyrantrum, right? So, um, <laughs> but terrain's a pain in the ass <laughs> yep yeah everyone forgets everyone forgets that uh... I, wasn't, I honestly i was expecting that i was i was expecting a levitate set since i had runerigus <laughs> yeah 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 runerigus was really annoying for my tarantrum and also it's really annoying for my um septile because it gets rid of my ability with wandering spirit so <laughs> yeah it. yeah you have that's Rindo too that's smart um yeah you you came you came with uh with some sets that definitely countered uh some of my sets however you didn't expect misty terrain i bet <laughs> i was like does misty i was like does it come does it not and i was like fuck it <laughs> The reason it came was because I was afraid of T-Wave Clef Key to stop my Sceptile, honestly. I had T-Wave. I had T-Wave. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was afraid of that. I was afraid of T-Wave Galvantula, which you also had. I was afraid of Effect Spore Vileplume, which you also had. So Misty Terrain just sort of shut that down, which is great. Also, you have Willow with Rune Regis, which could also shut it down. So I I definitely tried to prep against all of your um, all your prep status. Was good. Don't get me Don't get me wrong. I just completely spaced terrain. <laughs> Honestly, I forgot I had that terrain until I looked over my team. Like, how can I not get uh, Sceptile to, to not get uh, status? And I was like, well, sub technically could work, but then I wouldn't have enough moves. And I was looking through it, and I'm like, wait, Wheezing? Because <laughs> I didn't want to bring Percursion without Raichu, and I didn't want to bring Raichu this game. So I was like, eh. I have a Zorog that fucking destroys right <laughs> That, and also you had... And um, a Runariga. I had a Runariga. Yeah, yeah, that also lives a hit. And then also you had, um... Linoon, which has extreme speed, which is super annoying. And so it's just like... I, I was sort of expecting you to bring Linoon, but I was like, it's not really that good here. Like, it's it, fine. It want... Okay, so the reason you see... I didn't realize that I didn't that I didn't have a EV, like an I, um a nature on my fit on my vileplume and then i look at my calc and i'm like why do i do have no plus special defense or plus defense nature mm. and i'm like you're fucking kidding me i have a neutral nature i had serious nature that match i had serious i didn't uh, realize damn that sucks my prep was solid i yeah. just completely was like i was like terrain does it come does it not I expected Pinkurchin to come no matter what. I expected Pinkurchin over Weezing, not gonna lie. Well, Weezing also... I, I made a stupid... Okay, so... <laughs> you'll see during Team Builder, I had Toxic on Weezing and I noticed it, thank God, before the match. Because I had Misty Terrain with Terrain Extender. I was like, wait a minute, that doesn't work. Um, and then I also had... You have Defog, uh, you have defog with, terrain, with Terrain. Yeah, I had, I had Defog... Um, 
because I didn't want to run defog rocks on Gly, uh, Glygar, and I was like, well, I I guess if I have to get rid of uh, spikes or something. I'm just gonna say you BM'd me at the end. You BM'd me at the end for getting full HP with your with your Glygar. Dude, I was pissed. I was afraid I was you were gonna have energy ball. I'm like, okay, like just in case he gets a crit or some shit. Like I am, I no 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 no. <laughs> I don't. Ha I didn't have energy ball. I I I sacrificed it for Thunder Wave. Oh no. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, Gligar, Gligar uh, also destroyed your team if you didn't have Lantern. I was like, oh, Lantern's not here. Perfect. <laughs> I mean, I did, ha I did have Altaria. Altaria, yeah, with Ice Beam. Dude, I forgot it had Ice Beam. If that, if you started off with Altaria and not Zoroark as Altaria, I would have just died. <laughs> I, I actually think you lived. I actually think you lived. I'm not fully special oh. offensive. Yeah. I think you lived. I mean, I have a little bit of Spadef, I guess, but yeah. Yeah, I'm only doing 71%. That still does a lot, though, to clay car. <laughs> and I'm <sighs> zero speed. I'm zero speed, so I wouldn't have outspied you. Oh, that's that's fair. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wasn't creeping anything. I wasn't creeping anything. I was like, I want more power, and I don't want speed. I want defense, so I live a head smash or a dragon claw. I'm just mad. I played so badly. I I mean I don't blame this you with some of your plays. This is my third time ever being six out. This is my third time. Damn. Well, okay. If it makes you feel any better, a lot of people know me as being the low tier like player. Like I know low tier, so <laughs> shouldn't feel too bad. See, I'm I'm good at both low tier. But I'm also, I'm better in Ubers or normal. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and I'm like one of the best, I'll just say this, I'm one of the best Monotype players. <laughs> I beat Mono, I beat Mono Psychic that had a Tapu Lele and a Mega Medicham today. Damn, do they have an Alakazam? Um, no. They also had a Gallade and a Hatterene. All right. Um, let's see. So, other than that, I mean, I don't think there's much to talk about. Oh, okay. So, okay, you did have foul play. Uh, you didn't have light screen. Interesting. Yeah, that makes sense. I didn't have light screen because I was like, I'm expecting more of an, a, a physical team to come since my team is a lot more especially bulky. Yeah. In my opinion, and Septile is better in this matchup with being more physical. Mm -hmm. That's why I also have Rocky Helmet on my Vileplume, because I take hits from that thing almost all the time, aside yeah. from acrobatics. Yeah, I, I saw Rocky Helmet, or I saw that you didn't have Black Sledge, and I'm like, oh, so it's probably Rocky Helmet. And then I saw no Heavy Duty Boots on Altari, I'm like, what could this thing be? Like, I had no idea. Yeah, my prep was solid. <laughs> yeah, your, your prep was definitely, like, I didn't expect my... the Altari, like, I didn't expect um a few of these sets to come um but i'm a lot more creative than most people i'm very creative <laughs> yeah it looks like it looks uh looks interesting like the sets um but yeah i sadly uh i i couldn't even show off the uh the subtitle but that's fine <laughs> i was expecting you to switch in and just six out me <laughs> I was really afraid you were gonna have like okay, look at your sets. Like you have most of your mons have something to stop set though. Like so there's there's no way I could really switch in effectively, so and I, like I those nick those nicknames are clean, I'll be honest. <laughs> which ones? My Here? my nicknames <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Bloom Doom, I was I was a little afraid you were gonna just Z move me for a second. I don't, I don't worry, I'm not a cheater. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <sighs> Alright, um, so yeah, did you want to add anything else? I would shout, I want to shout on my channel, but no. <laughs> you can if you want, I'll add in the description if you want. Uh, I could, I'll send it to you in DM, 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 uh, I can't speak, DM. <laughs> All right, yeah, and I'll, I'll leave it in, in the description, Tiger, guys. I'm just going to say, Tiger BGC on YouTube. I'm trying to get to 40 subs by the end of February. <laughs> All right, yeah, let's make that happen, guys. Um, 
But yeah, without further ado, uh, I will see you guys next time. Peace.